Hi, my name is Isaac Shutt. I'm an estate planning and probate attorney licensed to practice law both in Texas and in Wyoming. In this video, I'll answer what does it cost to do a probate with a will and how long does it take to do a probate when the person died with a will? Well, let's jump right into it. Well, in terms of what does it cost, I would say a typical cost is in the two to three thousand dollars to do a probate when there's a good valid will. Now, I chose my words really carefully there because a lot of the times we do a probate with a will, we're not dealing with a good valid will. So that two to $3,000 cost, that's pretty typical if you had a last will and testament done by an estate planning attorney like us, um, because that will has all the magic language to make the probate cost really easy and inexpensive uh, for your relatives. You know, For example, the will will say that the executor can be an independent executor the will has a self-proving affidavit. So when you meet with a probate attorney, that's what they're gonna be looking for. Does the will have all the right stuff to make sure that that will is gonna glide right through court really easily? And if the answer is yes, then you're looking at probably in the range of two to $3,000. Another variable that can kind of impact that is sort of where you are in the state of Texas, um, because actually in some of the more rural areas, it can actually cost a bit more. Um, but here in the Dallas area, that's a good rule of thumb. But you can also spend more if you just have a really experienced attorney, uh, they may charge more. And then also, if you have a lot of handholding, so if you expect more than just, okay, I hired my attorney and he got it right through court and then got out of the way, um, if you need a lot of handholding, that can add to your cost, obviously, as well. So uh, just for the legal minimum of getting a will through court, that's kind of that low end cost uh, if everything is in ship shape with the will. Now, let's talk about what it might cost if things aren't ship shape. Well, a lot of times we deal with, um, you know, online wills. You've heard of all the popular websites, Rocket Lawyer, LegalZoom, you know, you name it. Um, or sometimes we're dealing with a handwritten will, which the law calls a holographic will. If we're dealing with any of those less than ideal wills, you're going to have more cost on the probate. That's because it doesn't have all the right stuff. And so there's going to be extra legal work and extra legal work means extra expense. So. I would say when we have these non-standard wills, at a minimum, it's gonna add 500 to $1,000 in cost because at a minimum, we're going to have witnesses that may need to come in and participate in the probate court hearing. We may have to drop some additional affidavits or we may have to get some consents uh, prepared and signed for all the relatives to sign. So depending on the situation, you're looking at a minimum of $500 extra if you're dealing with a non-attorney prepared last will and testament. And also I'll mention the wheels can totally fall off the train if there's an estate dispute. So if there's a will contest or somebody who claims to be a spouse that's not listed in the will, anything you know really crazy like that, well then you're not looking at a couple of thousand bucks. That can range into the tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars when you get into a will contest or a state dispute. So that's really not what this video is about. This video is really about hey, what about the plain Jane cases? And in and, and that case, a couple $3,000 kind of on the low range, a little bit more if we're dealing with a non-standard will. Let's talk about the timeline to probate when there is a will. Well, from the time you meet with that attorney to the time we have an executor sworn in who's ready to handle the estate, you're typically looking at a minimum of two to three weeks. So some probate courts and some probate attorneys are just really fast. And that's where you would get into that two to three week uh, minimum. A lot of times that's kind of where our law office fits in. We try to be super efficient and handle our paperwork as quickly as we can, get everything filed as quickly as we can. And so on the low end, when you've got a probate of a will, timeline wise, you're looking at two to three weeks minimum. Now on the high end, you could be looking at three or four months because some probate courts are just slower and some probate attorneys are really busy and don't have a lot of uh, systems in place to make them more efficient. And so it can take several months to do uh, sort of a plain Jane uncontested will probate. Now, if you're dealing with a contested will probate case, that probate can take far, far longer because it's a lawsuit. 
and lawsuits take a long time. So if you're actually dealing with a will contest or some somebody claiming that you know the decedent lacked mental capacity when the will was signed or a child was left out or something like that, I mean, those are lawsuits and lawsuits just take a really long time to resolve. In fact, I've got one case involving an estate that's over a decade old. So, you know, the moral of that story is, uh, you know, it can take a long time and cost a lot more if we're not dealing with a good attorney drafted will. And if there's any disputes or weirdnesses that can add a lot to it as well. I hope you found this video helpful. It's a very direct and to the point video, and that's just kind of our style. If I could be a further assistance to you, I'd love to hear from you. Again, my name's Isaac Shutt. I'm an estate planning and probate attorney licensed in Texas and in Wyoming.